you'll get the notification. We are here with the man himself, Michael Canick from the Major Pod. Michael, what's going on, dude? Just living the dream of making half-naked men in toy form. <laughs> All right, tell me more. <laughs> Let's talk about this. <laughs> um, it's a judgment free want, podcast. Just want to dive into it because sure, got demolition right here. <laughs> oh, you got demolition right there. Let's yep. let's go into it, man. Yeah, yeah, let's just jump right in. I like that. Let's jump cut right it. to the chase. Everybody's good. Let's look at toys. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm with it. Let's let's, let's talk look about at some half naked men. <laughs> big bubba guys and these ones wearing leather chaps hey let's get into this <laughs> hey s and m whatever we don't care we want to see these <laughs> yeah um so you know we started big bubba guys a few months ago series one matt and brian um we still have a few sets left on our site um i think it might be less than 50 around okay. 50 um but you know the reaction that we've received from the collectible community has been overwhelming everyone seems to like it i um i haven't really heard any negative comments um this the stuff that we've seen on our end so i had to burp i'm drinking liquid <laughs> death uh salted um <laughs> But hitting yeah, the, hitting the stuff yeah. hard today, huh? Yeah, H two O with the carbonation. Um, yeah, everyone's just been so um, nice about everything they've been saying. Uh, but we've noticed some stuff on our end, and um, we've went back and we made some edits to demolition. Um, one thing being the eyes in series one; they didn't have that. Um, LJN-esque pupil. Mm -hmm. um, and that's... I don't know how that slipped on everyone's radar. Um, but we noticed it once we got the final product. And, um, you know, now the Series 2 Demolition will have that um, pupil added on. Um, nice. But, I, gotta, I do have a question. Have you heard from the collecting community if a lot of these collectors are going to play with them with their LJNs? Or is this just going to go right into a shelf and be a display piece? I've seen people um, add them to the LJN collection. Okay, um, have have they wrestled with them? <laughs> I haven't seen anyone wrestle with them. All um, right, all right, all right. We do put on the packaging, not a toy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't seen anyone play with it, actually. Um, we've seen with Major Bendy's people give uh give their loose ones uh to their kids and they'll play with it with their bendums and stuff like that so i'm sure within time i'm gonna be seeing photos of that happening uh with kids mm -hmm. playing uh with probably not an lgn ring because i think those got recalled right uh yes, <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so they hopefully did. hopefully kids aren't <laughs> playing with an lgn ring and they're using a a metal thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I was actually really curious because, you know, I would be tempted if I was a kid to just grab this. And if hypothetically my dad had LJNs, oh man, I'm pairing demolition up against the Bulldogs. I'm pairing demolition up against the Heart Foundation. You yeah. know, my as a kid, my eyes are like this big, they're saucers, and I'm ready to play. Yeah. But I was actually curious if, and I expect the also the, um, figure photographers to have fun with this but i was actually curious if anybody's reached out and said hey when i get my demolition and i'm recreating a bulldogs match i'm recreating a match with the heart foundation a well Summer we have Slam a lot 90. saved up right because we didn't get these as kids we only Correct. had one half of the team so like we've got all these dream matches we had built up in our ljn federations yep and we never got to do it but now yep. you know thanks to you guys here it is 2023 we can have those matches finally yep yeah, um, I can tell you I've hired someone to do some stuff for us. Um, to do, to do some, what kind of stuff for you? Some, some photography and um, video work. Okay. Um, 
So I think, I think what you're talking about will, we're, we're working on a, a little project for social and stuff. Okay. Um, I Very just found cool. out and, um, because we, exactly what you just explained, I want to showcase. I want mm -hmm. people to know, look, we are, I think the only company in my opinion, at least, and from what I've heard from multiple others, we're the only one who's brought in something closer to the original product. And um, I want to let that word spread to others. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we were talking earlier before we started this, I'm heading to PowerCon. I'm bringing prototypes. I'm bringing big rubber guys for sale. I want to showcase to everyone that's in the community, who loves action figures, who loves wrestling. This is what we're doing, and we just started it. And trust me, we have a lot going on. Um, At PowerCon, is there going to be any new reveals? There won't be any new reveals. Um, okay. It, the, we probably should have done something. <laughs> but, uh, we did so much during San Diego Comic Con uh, week. Yeah, that it, it, it's it's a bit too much, and, and um, yeah, we're not even a I, month removed from it. Yeah, I I totally yeah. get that. <laughs> it's just, and trust me, I, we have things planned, and because we know everything that we're going to be doing till almost mid twenty twenty four maybe even all of 2024. Um, but we don't want to say things if it's not worked on yet. Okay. That's fair um, enough. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Nice to have that roadmap though. Yeah. Yeah. We have the roadmap. We have everything put in place. So once uh, task A is completed, task B gets handed down to whoever's next and it just keeps on going. So it's, it's a nice, you know, you know, we use Asana as project management tool. So it's just everyone's constantly dropping things in and everyone knows where they are. And we could just keep on producing figures at a timely fashion. So I do have another question for you. You've done Bendy's. Yep. You guys are working on the big rubber guys. Yep. Is there another scaled figure coming down the line? Or is right now just the main focus, the Bendy's and the big rubber guys? Or has there been something else that's been kicked around? Um, so we've actually done buddies. Yes. We've done, yes. We've done, um, we have Matt right here. Um, yep. I think, I think we're also the only company that's done something as close to the real wrestling buddies. Cause we have the actual size. Yeah. It's on uh, scale. There's no black, there's no black lines and we have the 3d nose. Mm -hmm. Um, get out of here, Matt. Um, <laughs> So we've done the buddies, we've done the bendies, um, big rubber guys. There's things that I've thought of doing. Um, have we gotten anywhere? Has I haven't even discussed on uh, quotes with the factories, or I, I, it's just a thought in my head. Okay. <laughs> okay. I I, hey, you never know when that thought will become a reality. It's it it's, could be right. It could be two months down the road, three months down the road. I was just curious if there was anything that was being worked on, kicked around that maybe a new scale. Um, you know, maybe you guys go into the six inch scale. You know, I I don't know. Yeah. I was just that was kind of just where that question was leading to. Yeah. Um. I mean, with the bendies, we have a six inch scale already. With Gallows and Tyrus, um, oh, I believe, I believe they're six inches already um, because we wanted them to tower over because they're so tall. Mm -hmm. um, the original Bendies, and we're going to be doing the same with uh, Andre the Giant. Andre, uh, all our big rubber guys are uh, eight inches. Mm -hmm. Andre will be nine inches because oh. he is that extra foot compared to the average wrestler. That's so. Awesome. Um, we're going to add him an extra inch. We're not going to have his knees bent. It's going to be straight up. So, um, yeah, the fact that he's going to hate me. I can't, <laughs> I can't wait for the uh, Afro Andre, you know, similar to his yeah. Ultimate Series 1. <laughs> I've, you know, Andre the Giant was one of my favorite wrestlers growing up. Mm -hmm. Favorite, one of my favorite 
Um, LJN's one of my favorite Hasbro's. If you told me back in the 90s, you're going to make an Andre the Giant figure, mm-hmm. I'd be like, yeah, I could see that. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> really? I'd be like, I'd be like, Anything oh. is possible. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I, I am so like shocked and happy that I'm able to do these things and I get to work with all these cool talents um, and, and have their families of the deceased wrestlers ha- um, happy about what we're producing. Mm-hmm. Um, but then also, you know, ha- like Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Hacksaw was also one of my favorites. And he's just said nothing but nice things about the Bendies. Um, and he was so, so freaking nice. Like, like he has to be one of the nicest guys in wrestling. Every single uh, time, every single time <laughs> I've met him, he's just been awesome. Every single yeah. time, very yeah. accommodating, willing to. Uh, I like when I get his stuff signed. I like having it in red, white, and blue paint pens. He's always been accommodating for that. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. So I actually have uh, two autograph Hasbro's from him. I have the purple and the the blue. Um, yeah, and he did the red, white, and blue. Nice. Yeah, awesome. All right. Before we get into the major bendies, we kind of yeah. teased this last time you were on the show. Favorite autographed Hasbro and the story behind it. Um, favorite one is actually Hacksaw Jim Duggan, because uh, I got it with Brian Myers, uh-huh. um, and that's that's kind of like what really kicked off um, our friendship. Um, now we have this really nice bromance where we call each other every morning. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, he, uh, we got it together at uh, Wrestling Universe in Queens. And uh, yeah, it was, it was funny because Hacksaw at the time just called me Kenny instead of Kanik. And <laughs> I just kept on responding to it. And Brian just kept on laughing about it. <laughs> and then, um, the second one, also I got it with Brian was... Uh, my Hulk Hogan's because we flew to Orlando um, for a signing and it was just a one day trip. Um, me and Brian uh, shared a room together. We met uh, a bunch of uh, major marks. We hung out with our good friend, Joe shoes. And it was just a freaking blast. We just, we, we got our shit signed. Went back to the hotel room, dropped everything off, and then we just started drinking and having yeah. fun. And we saw video footage of me like shaking, meeting Hulk Hogan, and like <laughs> I, he that's goes awesome. In hand, he goes in for a handshake. I go in for a hug. Like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. He goes in for a hug. I go in for a handshake, and um, <laughs> it, it's so funny. And like Hulk Hogan looks at Brian and he goes. Wow, man, you could be a worker. He had like no idea that Brian's actual. Oh, man. (laughs) (laughs) It's funny, but like Nobs is behind us and like Nobs knows who Brian is. And and Nobs actually knows me from uh, Hotel Boys. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) That's the the best explanation. (laughs) That's the family friendly uh, explanation. Yeah, but actually, I just got two new. Autographed Hasbro's. Uh, quick story. Um, nails. Oh, yes. Spots. Awesome. And I'm going to have to pull this one out. I haven't put it on the wall yet. Give me one second. Where'd he go? I'm getting an exclusive, Jeff. <laughs> he's, he's John Cena. <laughs> he just disappeared. So, oh, there he is. <laughs> I've been cleaning my garage. And I moved into this house about 10 years ago. And when I moved, my brother and I had a bunch of mock Hasbro's. Mm-hmm. And that box went missing. And we just assumed that it was stolen or got lost in the move. So I'm cleaning out my garage because I'm redoing it. And I find this box that's all squished. And it's all the mock Hasbro's. Apparently, someone moved it into this other box that's not protected. Well, oh, no. Like a Home Depot box. So, first Hasbro I pull out 
is a Shawn Michaels autograph that my brother got uh, when we were kids, when we met Shawn Michaels at a, a meet and greet at a car dealership in New Jersey. The box is just destroyed and everything. Oh, and it's one of Shawn's old autographs. Oh, no. Um, I pull Dude. out another one. It's, um, it was a Lex Luger red card that was like, okay. Um, and somewhere in the mix of this, this is a rare boy. Okay. An autograph, Mr. Perfect. <gasps> <laughs> oh, whoa, what? Oh, wow. Do you I remember? Was, yeah. Do you remember where you got that? Yeah, Signed it was at? a Cal- Caldor at Mill Creek Mall. Um, and there was a KB Toys just down. And my I remember my bro- this is actually my brother's and I refuse to send it to him now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I sent him like all the other mock guys was like, I don't need this. I got better ones. <laughs> and they're all autographed. But I'm keeping this one. Um But yeah, so it was a Caldor um at Mill Creek Mall in New Jersey, right by the Meadowlands. And there's a KB Toys just like literally right across from the Caldor. So I remember my brother. We got there early, and my brother went to the Caldor and purchased uh, a Mr. Perfect. Nice. And he signed. So, um, that is awesome. We Holy have, crap. We have, we have photos of it, this getting signed. We thought it was lost forever. Um, I still have the Caldor 8x10 that he signed for me. Um, so maybe I'll create a nice display piece. Yes. Um, and uh, it, it's cool. So I'll do a photo of us meeting Mr. Perfect with the eight by 10 and the, what was once lost now found autographed has. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Send your brother the HBK one. You keep the Mr. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I, got, I got, and then also, and there was an autograph, um, Jake, the snake, uh, Roberts, that was a loose one that I had gotten signed. And about a year or two years ago, um, I met Jake again and I had him recreate the photo of from when I was five years old or six years old, getting it, the loose one signed. And now I'm an adult and I'm getting it <laughs> signed again, but mint on card. Nice. So that photo. So I found that loose Hasbro. So I'm keeping that too. Awesome. That's, that's awesome, man. Especially the nails one behind you. I'm looking over your left shoulder. <laughs> man, yes. that's sweet. That is awesome, man. All right, Kenny. <laughs> let's, let's go over these big rubber guys that you just showed yeah. off. Oh, uh, do you want to start off with the man who is probably the most popular wrestler right now because of his dark side of the ring? Let's start off with Marty Janetti. Yeah, Party Marty. Party Marty. <laughs> Marty oh, Janetti. Man. That is awesome. Look at the tights, the zebra, yeah. uh, the belt. Oh man, that is great, man. And I love how close it came out to the the image we saw when before it was in figure form. Mm-hmm. It was just kind of the drawing. That is, um, I mean, it's like dead on. That's so incredible. This is, this is our first prototype. Um, we normally do. We'll normally go through around two or three prototypes. Um, and for big rubber guys, because of the price point being high. It's fifty dollars with free shipping. Um, we want to make sure that it's perfect, so we understand that it, it, you know, everyone's, you know, normally in a budget, but now it's a little bit tighter with everything going on um, with the U.S. market and inflation. So we want to make sure if you're going to spend fifty dollars with us, that you're getting a quality product. Mm-hmm. Um, so we noticed some little errors on this one, and um, we've. We're in the process of fixing it and getting our second uh, prototype. Okay. Uh, but just wanted to let that be known. But this is resin, so it doesn't bend. Or, or it's, you know, I can <laughs> probably break this very easily. Um, but, yeah, uh, we're very happy of how this turned out. Um, and it's available for pre-order right now. Um, so, the- so, okay. Yeah. We're going back to the LJN days. Yeah. We got... Warlord without Barbarian, and we got Axe without Smash. I'm going to ask this right now. I have a yep. feeling I know the answer. Will there be a Marty without Sean? Or so, is there a chance? 
Um, we were asked this. I get, I probably get asked this twice a day now. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. We'll make it three times. <laughs> yeah, people wanted us to do like a blonde hair chase van. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> we won't nice. be doing a blonde hair chase variant. Um, <laughs> we probably, in all honesty, won't be able to sh- sign Shawn Michaels to a deal. I had a um, feeling <laughs> because, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to explain. Um, <laughs> uh, and and we won't do the blonde hair chase Marty Gennetti, Marty Gennetti because. Let's face the facts. The blonde hair would be Sean, mm-hmm. and morally and ethically, we shouldn't be producing a figure of someone that we can't pay them a royalty. To. Yep. Right. Um. So that's just an ethical choice on our end. Um. But I will say this: we made the buddies mm-hmm. when no one was doing them. Mm-hmm. Now WWE is making buddies. Mm-hmm. We made bendies when no one was doing it. And now WWE is making bendies. So I think if this popularity continues with big rubber guys, give it about another two years, I'm sure we'll have a, a <laughs> <Shawn> Michaels, <laughs> eight inch rubber figure. Hey, you can't sign Shawn Michaels, but this Michael Hickenbottom guy, I'm just saying, <laughs> no, I'm, just kidding. I'm just joking. Um, so, I've noticed Marty is in that same pose as similar to Axe. What was the decision going behind that for the same pose? Um, that's just like the cliche rocker pose, mm-hmm. right? Just mm-hmm. like the the party side. Um, I know it, it kind of threw people off. People thought we were only going to be doing the same poses, so we're getting a lot of comments about that. We just thought, what, like, what else would a rocker be doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> So, well that uh, is the best ljn pose i don't think that there's one better than that it's like the greg valentine right like yeah. there wasn't a better pose than that in my opinion there are so many different moves you can do when you're playing with them plus it looks great right yeah so that to me is the best ljn pose anyway yeah and you know we took people's feedbacks on this also um i agree with you i i love this pose but I guess people want that variety, and I understand why. You mm-hmm. don't want them all to be uniform, I guess. You want it to be different poses like the original LJNs. Sure. So um, we took that feedback, and, you know, we're doing multiple poses, <laughs> which was <laughs> originally the plan the whole time. It just happened to be that situation. <laughs> we did yep. the same exact three in a row. I think it's a good time to uh, be doing that figure right now and for pre-orders up for Marty Jannetty due to his dark side of the ring that just, just, dropped, yeah. just dropped last night. So good job on yep. the timing on that. Yep, yep. Um, we had this planned um, for a while and we wanted to, we actually held it back. Um, he was going to be in series two mm-hmm. and we're like, let's just switch it around because then it would aim perfectly with the dark side. And um, it did. Uh, the guys at Dark Side of the Ring um, actually promoted the figure for us on nice. their socials. So it was, it was cool. Nice. Perfect. And we do have some images. Uh, Michael, if it's okay if I yeah. kind of share the screen here and we can get into the Marty images. Please don't let there be porn. Please don't let there be porn. <laughs> no, dude, I already minimized all that. We're fine. Okay, my man. <laughs> yep. So there we go. There's kind of a, a close up of them. I love the tassels around the wrist too. That's a great job. Yes. Yeah. Um, TTD uh, um, artists and Josh do a incredible job. Um, and also, there, there. I think there's more stuff that's supposed to be added onto the figure, um, paint wise. Don't quote me on that. But okay. when you get these, when you get these uh, first round of prototypes, it's not. Um, they don't add all the details to it mm-hmm. um, because it's really just to approve the physical shape and not the paint application. Paint application will happen um, when they do a actual rubber uh, prototype. I do expect some people to purchase two and one person will be customizing the Shawn Michaels. I do expect that to happen. That happened with the Retro Fest that came out. Yep, yep. And 
I've noticed a few people who voted pictures too. And I go, nice. I know what you're doing. <laughs> so one guy ordered four and I'm like, okay, I know what he's going to do. He's gonna <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's going to do midnight rockers and the rockers. No, I well, <laughs> actually, I thought what he was going to do is going to customize two of them, put one back in the box with a custom carding and have one loose. That was oh, my idea. Okay. So Got that's, it my guess but yeah got it now that just didn't stop with marty Janetti or marty the party yes yeah, uh, we we also have a uh mr sergeant slaughter yeah so um we have the sarge man i'm my hands shake really bad so i have trouble getting this hat on and his uh glasses it's also not it's resin mm-hmm. but yeah. oh yeah gotta be so, careful yeah, but I can't see that. I'll leave the glasses off. But these are his glasses um, that go on his face. And he has the hat, both removable. Um, there's a bald spot on his head. Nice. <laughs> Super accurate. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, the back. And he has his whistle. And this pose and this whole design is based off his actual LJN figure that was never released. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, we're lucky that Matt, who is a partner in the business, actually owns the actual unreleased prototype. Mm-hmm. So all we did was took photos, sent it to TTD, and said, recreate this. <laughs> Copy <laughs> paste. <laughs> was was did, there any... Was there any talk of doing any updates? Like maybe I, I know you guys wanted to keep it true to form to the LJN that was unreleased, but was there yeah. any talk of maybe just putting USA on it or anything like that? Or was there any kicking around of that? Yeah, we had a few options and we were like, you know what? We're going to do a bendy anyway. Mm-hmm. Let's save those for the bendies. Cause then we can actually produce the unreleased LJN figure. And what was once only available in one person's collection, it now can be spread out to multiple collections at an affordable price. Mm -hmm. Um, So what we did was Matt contacted someone, um, one of the ex-LJN employees, and he tried to get as much information of, okay, what was the hat like? Because it's unpainted. He was like, what was it supposed to be? Um, I didn't think I don't think they gave them too much information um, mm-hmm. because they just don't remember. Um, but we kind of got some reference photos, and this is, in our opinion, what it was supposed to look like. Got it. Nice. Outstanding. Be- and the bald spot too. <laughs> yeah, the bald spot on this prototype is centered off. Um, so it's it's going to be fixed in the next round of prototypes. And we noticed a few things with the hands that we're going to fix. And mm-hmm. yeah, but, you know, for a first round, this is really good. And um, I'm excited for the rubber version because it's going to be a lot easier to put on a hat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hands. But um, yeah, it's it's really cool. Uh, you know what? I didn't even try this. One other question I do have. Uh, LJN's. <laughs> he can he can po- cosplay as demolition too. Nice. Demolition. <laughs> um, one Sergeant other question. Smash. <laughs> Sergeant Smash. So one other question I do have is, uh, LJNs back in the day were notorious for uh, paint loss. Hypothetically, father has these out. Kid grabs them, starts wrestling with them. Is the paint loss is is there a chance? I mean, there's always a chance. I guess you could say, but there's a chance with any figure. Um, but I've, I've been traveling with a set, um, a loose set. Uh I've been putting it in a bubble, uh, bubble bag. So I'm kind of cheating. Um, (laughs) I've been throwing throwing them around and, um, you know, my nephews were like, kind of like, kind of playing with it, but not really. Um, but I haven't really seen any. Wear the tear. I haven't seen any paint loss. Just, I guess, just normal wear. Okay. Really. 
yeah, I'm just going to worst case scenario type yeah. thing. Um, you know, it, you know, with fifty dollar figures, and, and it, again, it would go, it would go back if let's use that scenario again. If it was the father, you know, and the son got a hold of it, mm-hmm. you know, just I was just kind of curious, would the paint loss be somewhat similar to um, what we experienced with LJNs back in the '80s? Yeah, I don't know what paint they were using, but it was like. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, and it's just gone. Um, honky talk, honky talk, man. Honky talk, man's <laughs> face was blue underneath. Yeah, or something. <laughs> yeah. the blue honky body. Talk, here's a fun story. Honky talk, man saw me at a convention. He remembered me when we announced these. He was there with us at uh, Lesocon, and he he really likes the bendies, and he really likes the big rubber guys, and he kept on pushing me to tell me that he wants a big rubber guy, and um he's like i want it done right and i don't want i don't want that shit on my nose <laughs> um, like, okay but i can't you have a legends deal and he goes ah you just gotta cease and desist you put that in the microwave and you close in the microwave and you forget about it <laughs> god damn it god damn hockey talk man <laughs> that's that's great though i love that story <laughs> And then he saw me at a convention in New Jersey and he started screaming at me at the end of the hall <laughs> <laughs> where his big rubber guy is. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh. He's like, Kenny, get my big rubber guy into production, damn it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. I, don't, I don't even think Hacksaw knows. I mean, um, Honky Tonk actually knows my name. I think he just knows me as just the, the big rubber guy guy. guy. I'm just a little guy that makes big up a guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that shouldn't go on your business card, man. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck, that's actually a good line. I'm going to keep that in the bank in my head. <laughs> so I do have one question about Slaughter. Um, yeah. So you've mentioned you're doing a big rubber guy, which we've seen. You're doing a bendy. Yep. yep. Are there going to be more big rubber guys of Sergeant Slaughter? And the reason that I ask that is there's a second opportunity because Hasbro made – a big rubber guy of Sergeant Slaughter. We can't call it an LJN. It was LJN inspired, oh, yeah. but are there yeah. any plans to do a second? And if so, would it be based on that Hasbro Sergeant Slaughter? We don't have plans yet. Okay. Um, but we do have the ability to do that for the next X amount of years. I, I forgot how long his contract is signed okay. for. Um, but we do have that ability we're not going to do it right now because we have such a huge laundry list of names of people we want to do. And we just want to get them out uh, as fast as possible while still making sure that we're doing quality assurance, like, you know, checking the hands and making sure like there's things with Marty with his, his waist isn't, really meeting his um his, his toy so it kind of looks off um okay. there's there's certain things that we want to you know double check so it, it does take time to get these things as perfect as possible um so and we're going to try to stick to that schedule of doing two every six months even though we already kind of broke the wall with series three and, but that's the story on that is just going to be another dark side of the ring. Probably. <laughs> um, <laughs> on its own. Um, <laughs> which the third person is um, Rick Flair and we're doing it in his um, NWA uh, promo outfit of the suit and the long luxurious hair of his and, the Rolex and the pointing and screaming. Let's actually go into uh, the Ric Flair. The decision was made to go with the suit, which yeah, definitely. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I've seen mixed reaction regarding that. Some people were super excited about that. And some people were like, oh, I want wrestling gear. You know, you can never please. My favorite comedian says my, uh, you can't please everybody. And last night, everybody was at my show. It, it's a great joke. And I, yeah. it's something I stand by, but anyways, but it is true in the wrestling figure community. Not everybody's going to be happy. And I'll, I will no. say as a kid, this Ric Flair would have pissed me off because I always wanted my figures like ring ready. Like, unless there were two of them, I could have one in the ring and then the other one could yep. be like interview Ric Flair. 
But as a collector now, I love the look of the Saturday night suit. Like that to yeah. me is so the perfect Ric Flair representation. And I think you guys did a great job. That was a good Thank call. You. What was yeah. the decision by the, behind the suit? Um, So we were looking at all his gear and everything, and we wanted something totally different that would set us apart from what has already been made. Mm -hmm. So um, we're looking at like the San, San Francisco toy makers um original yeah, uh, yeah. Original San Francisco toy maker. Um, <laughs> and it's you know he's wearing his tights with um the rf on it um then there's the the jacks version um and i don't even look at those jacks figures um, <laughs> well as long as you, as long as you didn't give him dark hair like that wrestlemania 17 two-pack with undertaker i think it was <laughs> yeah. 18 but, 17 that 18. was chinese new year dude that was <laughs> um <laughs> scott do you happen to have the picture of the rick flair available by chance uh, yeah i can um, yes yeah, so I, I actually i don't have the have... we don't have the prototype but we that's, do that's have okay the, we do have a, a little video yeah we got a video we got a video Oh, is is it Ric Flair partying? Huh. Yeah, <laughs> with Michael <laughs> or with Kenny? <laughs> I, I, there was a, this one time actually with Knobs and Ric Flair in a hotel bar. Oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> I bet that was a party and a half. Uh, actually, Marty Janetti was there too. <laughs> of course, and he, and he punched me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's a term of endearment, dude. He apologized the next day. <laughs> he, re he remembered it nope oh okay all right well <laughs> all right uh, let's get this flare video rolling here we can just edit this part out <laughs> uh. you guys can see the video right no we can't no you can't it's see the video Nah. You're kidding. Hold on one sec. Is it playing for you? Yeah. Hold on. Ah. Let me widen out the screen. Nope. Still can't see it. You're kidding. No. We just see a picture of uh, of Ric Flair. Do you happen to have pictures, by the way? Uh, Yeah, I think I can send those over. So you guys also, and we'll kind of wait for the uh, pictures to come over, but you guys also have Macho Man. Yes. Um, without, I'm trying not to lead you down a, yeah. le a legal <laughs> rabbit hole, but let's go into kind of how you got the Macho Man. Oh, we'll actually put okay. that on pause. I know a lot of people. Okay. Are... So you can see it now. We can see yes. the pic. Yeah. We can see the picture. Okay, cool. Well, let me go ahead and hit play on the video and. Oh, perfect. Get kind of a 3D view. Yeah. So the Vic Flair, um, he has his hair. He's yelling. Um, has his molded sunglasses. on sunglasses, Michael? Molded, yeah, it's gonna be molded on sunglasses. Okay. Um, he has the Rolex, the rings, all his jewelry. Um, I don't know. I don't know why people are hating on us at first. I think this is the coolest one we've done. So I, uh, well, no, I appreciate it. As, yeah. as as Scott said, as a collector nowadays, you know, it's it's awesome. It's that '80s Ric Flair. Um, yeah. I as I said, I'm being honest. I've seen a mixed bag, but I'd love it because it is something different from original San Francisco toy makers. It's something yeah. different from, you know, figures we've gotten. How many figures in the past have we gotten of Ric Flair and trunks? You know, yeah, a, a gazillion of them. So this is absolutely awesome because it does replicate that '80s standing next to Shivani in those studios. It's beautiful, man. And he's not holding a microphone; like he is literally cutting a promo in a television studio with Shivani yep. standing next to him. Like you get that from this figure, hundred percent. Will you? Yep. Will Will there be a microphone accessory by chance? Um, I, I we do have the ability to do that, but we haven't spoken about it. Um, okay, that might be something we can add because it's nah. still early on. It, it's, it, I apply. I applaud you guys on that one, man. I'm in the. I'm in the camp of this is a beautiful figure, you know. So, yeah. So uh, yeah, we what we want to do is we want to do as many of the legends as if I say legends, but I want what I meant to say was 
we wanted to do this line as if NWA had LJNs Mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at all those guys and saying, okay, who is someone that we can sign and make a figure of that would fit perfectly in the LJN collection? Um, So that's why when you said, when you asked about um, another sergeant, slaughter we could definitely do that but there's so many others that we could focus on Mm -hmm. and just create a whole roster before we start doing multiple figures of people but rick flair is someone we will probably do multiple figures of Um, that's awesome you know there's so many options of him in a robe Mm -hmm. and his gear uh we already have him in a suit Mm -hmm. um and then we could do the endless bloody versions. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Or Black Scorpion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, title belts are out of the question. Mm-hmm. Or are they? Uh, never say never. Okay. Oh, got it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, obviously, there's certain things that we can and cannot do, mm-hmm. um, and there's certain things that are on the table. And um, I think there's a good chance that we could be able to get some titles. Okay, added. sweet. Oh, yeah. that's, a, that's great, man. That's great. Uh, one of the cool things about the LJNs were the tag team sets. And now that you've kind yep. of opened up the door to say you were trying to do a mirror or your goal at some point is to have a mirror of the NWA universe in parallel to the WWF universe with LJN figures, yep. that basically opens up an 84 to 89 window. So when we start looking at the NWA, you start thinking Rock and Roll Express, Fantastics, Midnight Express, The Russians, Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson, the list goes on. The tag team sets that LJN put out were so badass. Are there any thoughts in the future to maybe doing, okay, if we're going to do an NWA tag team, do you do them together on a card? Or are you strictly relegating yourselves to the single card? I personally really like the single card. Um, we've gotten responses from other people who want the box set. And if we do a box set, I can get it done. It's just how my mind works is I want to know how is it going to display on a shelf and how is it going to display hanging on a wall because everyone has their different ways and I want to make sure that everything is pleased for both parties. Mm -hmm. Um, Well, even if you couldn't do a box, is there any thought to maybe doing a larger single card? Kind of like how the original San Francisco toy makers did their two packs, right? You had a single card with the bubble on the front. I mean, there is a workaround because I understand as a collector, there's going to be a give and take because that's really expensive packaging to do that big blue box. Um, Just wondering if you guys have even had any preliminary conversations about, you know, are there going to be tag teams? And if so, how do we card them? No, we haven't. I, I okay. mean, we've, we, I mean, trust me, we've talked about which tag teams we're, we're working on next. <laughs> I um, <bet. laughs> but, um, and, and we've discussed about doing it, I guess, a little. Um, but for now, we're going to just kind of stick to the single carded. And got it. There's also another aspect of it of, all right let's say for Axe and Smash, we didn't put them in a set, but people bought just Smash because they just, they already had Axe. Right. So that gives people that freedom as well. So Mm -hmm. you're not spending a hundred dollars being forced when you just want one figure. Understood. They could spend 50 just for that one. Um, Was there many people who did that? No, everyone wanted the sets. (laughs) Yeah, of course. Yeah, for (laughs) sure. But, um, yeah, it, 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 I I like giving people that freedom. I also want to show, I think I showed you this last time, we have these protectors that are now on the site, um, and it's just good protection for when you get a figure signed. Um, this is my actual personal one from Brian that he signed towards me, and it's a nice little letter saying he would never treat me bad like Matt. Um, (laughs) but basically what it does is it also gives people that freedom of, if you want it on a bookshelf, it lays flat. 
on its own and will stand. I'm doing it on my hand, which is just for video purposes, but it will stay flat. And it has a hang tag right here. Um, so you can actually just hang it up. And, um, and Michael, are those like, purchased separately from the figure? Yeah, or these, they... these are purchased separately, but um, they come, the big rubber guys come for $25 free shipping. Okay. Okay. Um, nice. Yeah. And honestly, I don't see too many people selling protectors that cheap. Um, no. Nah. They're, <laughs> so, they're, they're a couple dollars. They're a couple dollars, right? Um, we sell them in sets. Just If we do it in a set, it's more affordable for you. Um, mm -hmm. So we kind of just take it to that way. And then we also did it the same for um, Major Bendy's. Major Bendy's come. This is how all our protectors come flat mm -hmm. uh, with a film on it. You peel it just like, you know, like the normal Funko ones. But these are a lot thicker than what you would normally see a Funko protector be. Um, so same aspect, lays flat, hang tag. And then we also have two others that I just put up on the site. Um, one for ECW figures. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And um, which is probably the first protector for an ECW figure. <laughs> and, I think so. Uh, and Hasbro tag teams, which will nice. also work with the uh, Mattel Vetro tag teams. Nice. Um, so it works the same way, and those are five for twenty-five. Nice. And Not that's bad. all. And where can you find those? What website? Uh, MajorPodMerch.com. There you go. All right. I was touching on Macho Man. I was about to get yeah. into that, and uh, obviously, as I said, I don't want to lead you down a legal rabbit hole. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, I just want to kind of touch we didn't on that. Call, we didn't cause any issues. <laughs> I've heard rumors. I'm just joking. I, yeah, heard it. <laughs> I got accused. I got accused by multiple people. In groups. Yeah, I've heard that too. And a lot of people don't understand. But yeah. um, so Macho Man goes through one his estate goes through like one agency, right? And then yeah. that's how you guys were able to obtain the rights to Macho Man, correct? Correct. So there's this um one sports agency that represents a few not just wrestling, they they represent multiple so liquid death seltzer but, <laughs> um free plug <laughs> <laughs> um so they there's this one agency they represent a lot of athletes and they happen to represent macho man and i contacted them and we agreed on a royalty mm -hmm. signed a deal um and that was it it, there's nothing exciting about what happened. Uh, okay. Um, and then it just happened to be that uh, his estate decided not to resign with WWE. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why Mattel lost the license. It's uh, that's from my understanding, at least, of what happened. Mm -hmm. um, and it's nothing exciting. We didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys got accused, which yeah. again, that goes to the people not understanding how contracts work. And I, I, yeah. I will always say that I'm that we're loosely based of how well we know uh, the contract situation and stuff like that. But even I knew that it had nothing to do with you guys yeah. going in, swooping up the rights. It's uh, look, we know, man, we know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a zombie has, has um, he actually got the rights? I think before us. Um, and he had those rights while Mattel was still making Macho Man figures. So um, it has nothing to do with us. It was just um, they had a contract that allowed them to work with WWE and work with other parties. Um, and that contract was coming to an end. They were supposed to renew, and they decided not to renew. Okay. And that was it. Nothing exciting. Um, the, exciting yeah, yeah. the exciting part is going to be when the figures come. Yeah, I think the exciting part is not to knock Mattel. I think they do a fantastic job with the Ultimates and um, all the Macho Men I'm looking at my wall right now. I, I have multiple Macho um on my shelf. Um, but now it's something new and refreshing, right? Mm -hmm. You're not going to get True. something just from Mattel, now you're going to get a, 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 a macho zombie 
um, Haswell that I think Haswell esque um, that looks incredible. We have him with major bendies. Um, you know, we could do buddies. We can do big rubber guys. We can do anything we want with him. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I I think it's it's something refreshing and and something new that you can add to your collection. Um, and it's and exciting. It. It's exciting. It's, it's, it's exciting. It's um, it's look, we're all fans. Mm-hmm. More the merrier. Let's yeah. bring it on. <laughs> so the last guy that you guys showed off. Oh, did you have a question, Scott? I did just real quick. Um, I'm I don't know if you can say how long the length of the deal is with Macho Man, but yeah. you had mentioned you were looking at two big rubber guys every six months or thereabouts. Yeah. There's a lot of different looks for Macho Man that you can go with. Yeah. So I'm wondering if I, that is gonna get changed with this edition. Um I don't even want to think about that right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, like right off the top of your head, how many different macho mans are you thinking in the big rubber guys? Well, we're focusing right now the macho man on the bendies, uh, because okay. there's so many other um things that we're doing with big rubber guys. Uh, but for the bendies, I can tell you right now, we have two versions lined up already. Okay. Um, and um, I'm receiving. I was. I actually got a notification while talking to you from the factory. They were showing me images of the prototype. Um, so, I mean, if you want to do an exclusive right here, I mean, <laughs> which is yours. I don't want to show because I saw something wrong with it already. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Jeff's on camera. I mean, there's a lot wrong with him. It's... <laughs> he, he's not wrong, you know. <laughs> but I'll, I'll probably have a finished prototype that I can actually show off within the next week or so. Hopefully, um, I, there's good Wi-Fi at the PowerCon Hotel <laughs> that I could um, – stay up all night watching old gi joe episodes and hell yeah and talk and talk to china <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um while drinking a shit ton of jack daniels and then the next day I, I go back down to the uh uh show floor and work and everyone just stares at me because everyone knows what i did i just drank all night and i spoke <laughs> to china and they want to know how i'm functioning uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, oh go ahead oh yeah but um the, the macho man we have we we have different versions we are thinking of that um we haven't even talked about a big rubber guy yet for macho man but i'm sure it'll happen in the future just because matt is such a big macho man fan and um this was something he wanted to do for a very long time and i i attack the agency almost every day asking them for uh, a deal with macho man um and you know they were just working with so many other people um that they just they were just looking at us like you're not important to us right now uh, <laughs> they were kind of they were they were kind of dragging their feet a little bit huh? yeah they were dragging their feet uh they were offering me other people and i'm like no don't want them mm-hmm. uh, i'm macho man um and we finally got it um and i would say we got it three or four months before anything happened with uh, announced with mattel so um yep yeah. but yeah it's exciting stuff nice um, nice man andre the giant the last big rubber guy that was shown off Scott, do you have yeah. photos of Andre? Or do you have Andre with you, Michael, by chance? I don't. Um, he's, Scott, he's do you have photos? Still haven't okay, that's okay. <laughs> so Andre is in the black singlet. And as you mentioned earlier, his legs are straight up. Unlike his LJN, yeah. where the knees are kind of bent, uh, similar to Big John Stud, where Big John Stud's knees were also bent like that. So the taller guys were kind of shrunken down yeah. a little bit Squashed. due to that. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing a squat. So, <laughs> anyways, yeah. the idea uh, behind that, I'm sorry. Uh, no, that was actually where my next question was going to go is uh, the inspiration behind that. Yeah. So, we wanted to make sure that he 
when you looked at him visually on your shelf or on your wall, you can tell this is Andre the Giant. Like he is taller than everyone else as he was in real life. Um, so kneeling him down prevents you from seeing that. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted him straight up. Um, and then we were just looking at the aspects of, okay, what did LJN do? What can we do that can set us apart? Mm -hmm. And so we agreed on uh, the singlet and having it stand up straight. Was there any talk of maybe doing the blue singlet? Did that ever come across the table? Uh, yeah, <laughs> there was a debate. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Why did uh, I have a feeling that that actually happened? <laughs> <laughs> there was a debate and, um, you know, it, there's still a possibility of a chase um, mm -hmm. or, or, or we might even make both and just give people the option of if you want to buy both and buy both or you can pick and choose which one you want um it's still up in the discussion we don't know what we're doing um uh, with that we'll probably decide on that the day before we launch because <laughs> that's how we normally work that's the way to do it man <laughs> well i think the black singlet is the iconic look like that yeah. is heel andre wrestlemania 3 i you can't go wrong with that one Okay. Definitely not. Yeah. But if you got Haku in the line, yeah, I think you're talking blue singlet. Yeah, that's a big if I know, but <laughs> if it happened, um, you know, I was thinking on the Macho Man too. You had mentioned that Mattel did a crap ton of Macho Man figures. One they missed out on was WrestleMania Five. Yep, and I'm one of the coolest wrestling pieces I've ever ever seen, and it's in Jeff's collection. Is the McFarlane Macho Man statue that just so happens to be from WrestleMania five. And he's in the orange robe with the arms outstretched, the sunglasses. I'm just thinking if you're able to do a big rubber guy, that would be such a, a statement right out the gate. WrestleMania five macho man in the spirit of that McFarlane piece with a removable, like a cloth goods cape, if you know what I'm saying? Like that would just yeah. be so badass. And I mean, take it for what it's worth, but that just seems to me like, low-hanging fruit that Mattel missed the boat on doing a WrestleMania 5 Macho Man and you guys now have the opportunity. I would love to see you guys take a stab at it. That's not a bad idea. That's not a... I will bring it up. I love it. Our, our meeting of... which is never really a real meeting. It's just us bullshitting while we're waiting online to get energy drinks at I guess. <laughs> God, it sounds like us, Jeff. God. <laughs> Those are my type of me. Those are my type of meetings right there, man. Oh yeah, oh well, yeah. No, just uh, endless text messages throughout the day because we don't call each other at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but... It's the new yeah. form of communication. Oh hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a that's a pretty good idea. Uh, and. There are so many looks that Mattel didn't touch, like even the silver robe, because do you remember the old school 86, 85 poster of Macho Man standing on the turnbuckle and he had on that yep. silver robe? To my knowledge, I'm racking my brain, but I'm very tired. But it, to my knowledge, that silver robe has never been done. They did the WrestleMania three in the uh, yeah. ring cart. They, what other robes did they do? I'm, as I said, I'm very tired, but Anyways, going back, that silver robe is an iconic look as well, you know, from the Boston Garden shows. You know, he gets to the ring and the, the old cameras couldn't pick it up and the lights are flashing off the robe and it's sparkling. Yeah. That's another option. Another option. Yeah. So just throw yeah, this I mean, out there. Macho Man was someone that put a lot of thought into what he was wearing mm -hmm. and he always had a cool outfit on. So the, the possibilities are endless. The big issue Truly. is yep. the amount of freaking deco that goes into it. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm already going through an issue with the factory on some stuff with the bendy. Um, but we'll, we'll make it work. I, we're going to make it look cool. We're going to 
have the actual prototype to show off in time for pre-orders um, because we're going to do an open pre-order system for Macho Man um, just because we know he's going to be popular and we want to yeah. make sure that everyone who wants it gets it. The demand yeah, is definitely going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. The pre-order is the order. So um, we'll do it for two weeks. Place your order and you're locked in. You're going to get it. And once that pre-order is closed, we don't make more. Well, I mean, we'll make a, maybe a variant or something, but if that style, that's it. And, um, you know, this is, this is happening to us now with the demolition. People email me probably five times a day saying I missed out on the demolition. Sorry. We had a two-week pre-order. We make exactly what was ordered. Maybe a few extras in case there's isn't a, a problem. Uh, but then that's it. And that's what we're doing with Big Rubber Guys because all our Big Rubber Guys are going to be a pre-order system, kind of just like Super 7. Yeah. Um, because we... Well, first, we just didn't know the demand, but now we see that there is a high demand, but it, it will fluctuate and stuff, so we don't really know, and that gives us the opportunity to take some chances. Mm -hmm. um, and we kind of like that freedom of taking these chances, and it makes everyone happy at the end of the day because people who jump in on the pre-order get the figure. Yeah, mm -hmm. we don't have to worry about selling out. You don't have to about oh crap, I didn't get paid today. But I get paid on Friday. As long as the period is still open on Friday, yeah, you're okay. You have we'll give you some sort of notice so you're prepared. Yeah. Um, so, uh, release date for Marty Janetti. When are you thinking? So Marty Janetti, Sergeant Slaughter, and Ric Flair are all available right now to pre-order. Mm -hmm. um, pre-order started two days ago. Yep. Um, it ends August 25th. Okay. And I'm, I put on the site, it will be available January 2024. Okay. I think, I think we'll have them in hand much earlier than that. Don't make promises, dude. Do uh, not make promises. <laughs> that's why I said January 2024. <laughs> yes. Because I, I do not look, I've done this multiple times now when it starts hitting the holidays stuff gets hectic with china with the boats with fedex ups everyone yeah. Is, yeah. is a disaster i don't want to be working i would kind of work non-stop but i don't want to be packing boxes going crazy because i'm worried about timmy who got this marty Janetti for his brother and he needs it for Christmas time. And I, I don't, I don't need an ulcer. Well, uh, <laughs> well no, I'm, I'm worried about Timmy, dude. Like Timmy is important. <laughs> well, I'm, well, I'm worried about Timmy and it's, it's, Timmy's anxiety is not giving me anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and then I can't enjoy Taco Bell. Uh -oh. <laughs> he just, God he forbid. Just, all right. All right. When Timmy's the new, dip, the new dip taco at Taco Bell. <laughs> good to know good to know when timmy starts affecting taco bell man that's an issue that's when it's timmy's gotta go dude timmy's yeah gotta timmy's go. gotta ex yeah. exit out you know i mean i love kids but look taco bell come on <laughs> um i just thought of something with the macho man i wanted to know um we we actually hired the original artist of the wf bendoms and um Matt actually bought the original art of the unreleased Macho Man Bendem, and that's oh. what that figure is based off of. Oh, and um, Guy Dorian, the original artist, drew the the trading card that will be provided uh, with the figure. Oh, so, nice! And, Very and cool. That, and that trading card is based off of what was originally supposed to be on the packaging of the unreleased Macho Man. Nice. So awesome. it's it's cool. Um, you know, we, we kind of... We have a, our, like, major bendy hub of this is how we do things. This is our artist. This is... This is Kanik and his crazy antics. But <laughs> we stepped out of it and we're like, you know what? Let's 
bring in a different artist that worked on the original line. And, um, you know, I think it's really cool. Um, I, I've gotten some good feedback from the collectors about it. This is something that we might be doing in the future with other stuff that we do. Oh, that's just great. Bring, just yeah. bring in the original artists. Because oh, this that... is all about the nostalgia, right? And you guys yeah. are definitely hitting all the right buttons for sure. Yeah, yep. thank you. Pre-orders are up on MajorPodMerch.com. Yep. For Marty Janetti, Ric Flair, and Andre the Giant. I hope all of you collectors did get in on the demolition figures because Kanik has shown them off twice, and those things are sexy. And yeah. <laughs> Transference. Nice. Look at that. And I don't know what else I have to show, but we have, I mean, just sign up to our newsletter. We're always going to be coming out with new stuff. It is incredible. The, the protectors, the figures. Um, if you like wrestling clothing, I have canicmerch.com mm -hmm. where every month I'm choosing a new wrestler and making an exclusive um clothing line stuff items with them like socks and um shorts and stuff who's uh, this month that, so i had someone else lined up um couldn't agree on a design and I, i'm just pushing him back now to the next month but um doing brian myers um okay. so okay. so we got um Shocker, I know. I'm just using my friends now. But, <laughs> but it works. It's, it's, um, it, it's going to be cool. Um, don't have any confirmation on the art with him yet, but I'll get it tomorrow morning and send it out to China, and that should be ready to go within the next week or so. Um, yeah, com, MajorPodMerch.com. I'm going to throw in support for my oldest brother who's on the new Gordon Ramsay TV show pawn, uh, Food Stars. I almost said Pawn Stars. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah, Food Stars. That's uh, awesome. He uh, He's in the final three. Next week, I believe, is the the finale. Oh, um, congrats. That's amazing. Dude, that's so, awesome. Yeah, Smart Cups. He has a technology-based company that 3D prints drinks into an eco-friendly cup. All you do is add water and something can come out so he has energy drinks he has hydration drinks he's doing uh mouthwash he just signed a major deal with a, a pet company for uh, uh food bowls that you just add water and it, it could give medicine to a dog or or it can actually create um uh, instant food wow um, whoa. yeah so uh support him hopefully he wins or he just gets called an idiot sandwich, which I'm also hoping happens. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, congr we love right there, man. Well, con I know. <laughs> well, congrats to him. I mean, top three. That's impressive, man. That's amazing. So, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, I was really bummed. I really wanted him to be the first one gone, but now he's made it. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's he'll get a consolation prize if he doesn't win. He'll get that HBK signed. <laughs> that has broke. Yeah, yeah. He's. <laughs> He's gonna be very happy. <laughs> it's all fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love it, Michael. We appreciate you, man. We do appreciate you coming on. Yeah. We appreciate. You. We just appreciate you, dude. You're always a blast to have on, dude. <laughs> Thank so, you guys. And again, we got an open door. Anytime you want to come on and talk, big rubber guys, the bendies, dude. The floor is yours. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You guys have been a supporter of mine since day one. So mm -hmm. I love you guys. <laughs> we love you too, Felix man. Mutual, dude. Yeah. Kanek, thank you again, man. Thank you. Thanks, dude.